नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल आई गॉट टू टॉपिक्स फॉर यू टूडे माई फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेज डेली इज इन अ मेस लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वाई दैट्स माई फर्स्ट टॉपिक एंड सेकेंड टॉपिक इज ट्वेंटी लैक बिहार स्टूडेंट्स नेम हैज बीन स्ट्रक ऑफ फ्रॉम द स्कूल ट्वेंटी लैक्स टू मिलियन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस लेट्स गेट राइट टू द शो यू सी द बेस्ट वे the best way to control a particular economy a particular state a particular country is by imposing bans imposing ceiling imposing license you impose the government imposes license the government seals the place then the government becomes powerful it controls the people why because uh, uh, license hai uh, na so anything you have to do you have to ask the government You have to come in front of the government, beg in front of the government. If there is ceiling, you have to beg in front of the government. Now, uh, you see, the government, the central government, thought of a plan. This plan they called it MPD, the Master Plan of Delhi. Master Plan of Delhi, twenty forty one two zero four one. They thought the mother thought of this master plan of Delhi, and they said, "Listen, we are going to launch the master plan of Delhi. Therefore, therefore, till January twenty twenty three, no, Baba, you cannot uh, you cannot do anything new. So seal everything, every jopar patti, every every land, whatever there is, you know, there is hut pens and all. Seal all those lands. Seal till such time that we present our master plan." once we present our master plan no once we present our master plan then we will decide what to do with all of them so master plan this was supposed to be in january 2023 did the master plan come out no the master plan didn't come out but the ceiling remained you see the government does something that's okay you don't file your taxes by the 31st of october baba the tax man will come to your house be careful गवर्नमेंट कैन डू दैट गवर्नमेंट को क्या फर्क पड़ता है द गवर्नमेंट सेट सीलिंग रेन दो यार क्या फर्क पड़ता है नहीं हुआ जनवरी में देन द कोर्ट कोर्ट इंटरव्यू तो कोर्ट इंटरव्यू एंड द कोर्ट सेट दैट लिसन हेलो वॉट जनवरी हो गया कोर्ट सेट बाबा लिसन जनवरी नहीं होता ना एटलीस्ट अप्रैल थर्टी एट टू ट्वेंटी के बिफोर यू एंश्योर इट है सो जनवरी है February happened, March happened, April happened, May happened, June happened, July happened, August happened, September happened, October happened. Kya kya MPD? What court? What verdict? Nowadays we see that so often, isn't it? Court verdicts are not okay. It's for common man, Baba. If you don't do court, will put you and push you behind bars. The common man. For government, what happens? Nothing. So court said, government didn't take it seriously. I still not take it seriously. so the supreme court rebutted the central government and the central this all is done by the central government not the delhi government per se it is done by the central government so it rebutted the central government and said we are surprised that the government does not take steps to prevent harassment of the citizens an utter mess has been made of the city and the public authorities are not willing to remove this mess the bench consisted of sanjay kishan call and justice sudanshu dulia and uh, the court said the whole problem in the city is that the public authorities are keeping everything in limbo to give themselves unreasonable power i am not saying this the court said this this is exactly the point you see you keep powers to yourself everybody comes and falls at your feet and that's precisely what a lot of governments are doing and that's precisely what we are questioning and precisely what the court is also questioned now the point is is there interest of the state interest of the people of the state the citizen of the state the country possibly no it is the interest their own interest and that's the problem delhi is suffering delhi the the state of delhi is in a mess you see another thing is um, while i am on the topic before i get into my next you see destabilizing a uh, uh, destabilizing a government destabilizing a, a government is a very easy way to win elections so you are in the central government you are more powerful than the state government so you destabilize that state government which helps you to win elections but for a minute have you thought what happens to that state a nationalist government have you thought what happens to the state what happens to the people of that state have you thought of it 
I think it's high time the people of that state understands it. That's the point I wanted to make. Let's go into my next topic. 20 lakh BR students name have been struck off from the school register. 1.5 lakhs will miss their board exams. 20 lakh kids are not going to get education. 1.5 lakh kids may not be able to appear their 10th standard or whatever their, their matriculations or their higher secondary education because they are boards. They may not be able to attend. Achha, the government says, the government says, you see, the move was aimed to make sure that the government resources are efficiently utilized and benefits given to deserving students. It is also aimed at helping streamlining the midday meal scheme and ensuring that the school management doesn't fake the presence of students during meal time, officials said. Okay, teachers say that this is infringement of uh, an arbitrary decision and infringement upon the Right to Education Act. This is what the teachers say. Okay, let's keep all these papers aside. Let's talk simple. A father and mother has two kids, not three, two kids. Okay, Rinku and Pinku. Rinku and Pinku. Now, Rinku goes to school. Pinku is a little uh, mischievous. Pinku says, no, I don't want to go to school. I want to sit and watch Cartoon Network. I don't want to go to school. The father and mother comes together and decides, okay, Rinku wants to go to school, so we will send him to school. Pinku doesn't want to go to school, so what we will do is, we will starve her and we will not send him to school, send her to school. Because resources, then we will put it on Rinku. Let Pinku starve. Let Pinku be, remain uneducated. This is the story. Are you agreeing to it? Are you with it? Is that the right decision to do? Or would you call the parents mad, mentally retarded, warped? I would call those parents warped. That little child doesn't understand what is good for him or her. That is why he or she is a child. And if a child doesn't go to school, it is the job of the state to ensure, to cajole, to, 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 to ensure that that kid comes to school, give her that lollipop that she requires to come to school. That is what a state's job is. It's a kid for crying out loud. What are you deciding based on a kid's preference? Kid doesn't come to school for three days. Chodo, that is the story. First, earlier on, it was supposed to be 30 days. Then it became 15 days. Not three days you don't come to school, your, new, your name is struck off. Are you kidding me? What are you trying to create a state? A state of uneducated people? Because three days you don't go to school, your name is struck off. And the government says this is to ensure that our midday meals, you know, it is all parallel. It, we, we, we ensure that the midday meals go to the right student, deserving students and all that. What deserving student are you talking about? Three days the child doesn't come into school, so you sack the child. And what are you trying to create? Like I said, a state of uneducated people? And by the way, you sit there as chief minister, you sit there as administrative staff, you cannot control your, your, your teachers and your headmasters from cheating you. That is your problem or that kid's problem. That means the chief minister has to state that, listen, I am not good. I'm, I cannot administer well because I cannot handle my education staff. I cannot handle my administrative staff in, in my education department. I cannot handle my administrative staff in my school. I cannot. I am not I am not capable enough to do that. So they con me. So because they con me, therefore I will make my students pay for it. I will make my kids pay for it. This is exactly what is happening. You cannot control corruption in your school. You cannot ensure that your midday meal is reaching the, the kids. Therefore, you strike off the kids. You strike out their name from the school, you throw the kid out of the school. Is that the solution or throwing that administrative staff out of the out of the school is the solution? You think about it. I mean, I am baffled. I am baffled with the with the sheer lack of administrative ability. Sushasan Babu is what he was called. Mr. Nitish Kumar was called the Sushasan Babu. This is his Sushasan. This is his good governance. My God, I am appalled. This is the point I wanted to make. Uh, you take the call. Please write down your, your, your comments below. And uh, I hope those 1.5 lakh kids at least get to write their board exams. They get to matriculate. They get their high secondary school certificate. 
I hope and pray it happens. I hope some sense is put on the government and the people who are taking these kind of decisions. Till I see you next time. Namaskar. 